good afternoon um, well today I'm showing you what I've been working on again it's for the cloud nine which is the name of the gallery that I will be exhibiting at when it opens shortly it's in makeup that's all I can tell you at the present moment I'll give you the exact address when it opens um, and they will be having an online site as well so just because you see something here and you maybe live in the States but well, you can still order it this is what I've just been finishing off um, it's in white uh, as you can see I thought the yarn was cotton until I came to open the package and then I discovered that it's another one of the ice ones and it was um, in a synthetic um, the pattern is um, a tacky tacky Stacy Charles uh, pattern whoops let me get it more into focus I think I've Got a bit too close with it. Uh, it's a Doris Champan September Morn jacket. You can't really see it too well because it's in dark green, but that's what it will look like when it's finished. Um, underneath, underneath, it's got. Um, let me get rid of that pattern. Oh dear! Wire buttons always a little bit hard to undo when you're on camera. Uh, I think it's because they're flower buttons. This is just like a shell top, whatever you want to call them. Um, oops, <laughs> she's looking a little bit uh, wobbly today. She's been on the uh, the wine in the lunchtime. It's just a shell top. The back and front are exactly the same. Um, this is made from um, it's Robin Diamante. It's a lovely yarn to work with, but I think actually it's discontinued now. And I was using a, an old vintage pattern that I bought from um, from Etsy. Uh, so I bought that recently. So that's what I've done. I'll put the camera down and then I'll show you what I'm actually working on at the moment. Um, oh, hope you can see me. Hope the light from the window isn't too dazzling. Right. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Paris. What I'm working on at the moment is uh, oh, <laughs> everything's dropped down. Everything's fallen down. It's um, a little waistcoat. It's made in a lovely fine bamboo type yarn. It's um, from Hong Kong. It's uh, where we're we going now. It doesn't say what percentage it is, but it's bamboo cotton mix and it's in a lovely shade. Very, very soft, beautiful. Um, again, I'm using a pattern, which I'll just throw on the floor. Everything's slid off. Oh dear. Now I've knocked my drink over. Oh, we're not doing very well today, are we, Buster? just not be linked to all over the floor. Right, I'm using a pattern that I bought from Etsy, which is very battered and I don't know if you can see it at all. Now the lady I bought it from on Etsy did make me smile actually because she's put, um, if you make anything you've not got to sell them. Which is a bit strange because she's selling a copyright of a pattern that probably is still around because it's a surdial and it's not a very old pattern. So I don't know how she can say you can't sell anything that you make with a pattern. It's not her pattern. Uh, what else have I been getting? Oh, while well, I've been on um, Etsy, I've got... Again, it all comes from Hong Kong. This is 45% um, wool, 5% cashmere, 50% acrylic. I'll take this out of the packet because it's a very, very nice olive green beautifully soft the unfortunate thing with these is they just come in packs of three but they are very very fine so i'm hoping that the three packs of the other green will make that little waistcoat um what else have i got um i've got two shades in the pink again in the 50 percent acrylic 45 wool five cashmere as well as like a bright fuchsia pink and the other one is a deeper, it's almost a red, but it's not. It's a, a deeper pink. If you can see the two together, there's quite a difference. Yeah? 
and um, I've got that one is almost like a car case kind of a grey but it has got a bit of a touch again of top really and then I've got these two again we're back to bamboo we've got the nice baby shades bright colours and this one is a bit difficult to see so I'll open it it's uh, what I would call a teal a petrol blue really petrol blue so that's what I've been getting yes I know I said I wouldn't be ordering anymore but I got very very bored the other night and boredom me and eBay don't go together I keep saying I buy things off Etsy when the wool came from eBay the patterns came from Etsy let's get that bit straight right also from eBay there's two different shades there I don't need to see or not those are like a turquoise and lilacs and like a lime green and then those are the white the turquoise plum now these actually match three that I bought previously so I've actually now got six 50 grams of these now which will make something a bit larger than the three would have made um, Derrimores which if you're in the UK it's a brilliant site to go on spend more than £25 you get the postage free anyway and they had a really good bargain on the James Seabrett cotton on um, it was uh, order 10 just pay for 9 and not only that there was um, I think it was either 15% or 20% off anyway so I ordered this lovely shade of uh, like a dusty pink and I also ordered the good old go with anything cream um, these are 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, which is why they're called cotton on and not 100% cotton. So I've got plenty to be going on with. What else did I buy? Well, it's cost me a lot of money because it came from America. Tacky Stacy Charles. I can never get these patterns in the UK. Um, I think I'm okay showing you the photos as long as I don't show you any instructions. Um, those are three different ones there. And um, open work ones there, and the skirt. I quite like this open work top one there, and I think that scarf could be quite nice when it's done. And then there's waistcoats there, or vests, whatever you want to call them. Uh, what else have we got here? Now I've, lo I've loved that for ages. I know it's a bit brightly coloured, but I think if you changed the colours, did it a bit more muted shade, that they would be, it would be very nice. I th think it's Doris Chan, I'm not too certain, but I think it's Doris Chan. Um, I like that one in a strange way. This one I do like, but it's got the round things that I've never managed to join together yet. And that one there is a skirt, which I doubt if I'd ever make the skirt, unless it was specially requested by somebody else. Um, the one in the middle is Doris Chan, which is very, very similar to a lot that she's already done. Uh, that one there's got um, granny squares at the top, but done in one colour. And what have we got there? Oh, that's the top. Done two different shades of green. Um, I think that's it, really, apart from the one on the back cover and the one on the front cover. So I think that's more or less it. We're very, very quiet, as you probably heard. Uh, my family went home first thing this morning, very, very early. So dogs and all, everybody's gone. So Buster's running around, doesn't know what to do with himself. How in the house to himself, he's like, hey, hey what's going on? Uh, we've been able to get the balls out again uh, because unfortunately uh, Sky chews them up. So he's been deprived of his box of balls for about the last six weeks. So I'm sure you'll be very happy about that. Anyway, I think that's all I've got to say for now. I'm sure there must be more. Still no news on the scooter. I did ring the department to work some pensions up and they're still splitting the money. I said, you've had it for three weeks. No, we haven't. We've had it since the 8th of April. I said, well, it's very funny because we sent it all off on the 26th of March. <sighs> so anyway, it's gone to some board or other now because I've complained so it's gone to a board 
who are going to sit and make a judgment, blah, blah. I don't care what they do as long as they get me the scooter here. Because now, of course, the family have gone. I'm really stuck, yeah. I mean, my neighbours are brilliant. They'll get me things that I need. And my friend Sue came today and she brought me some bread and milk, so I'm okay for a bit longer. Thankfully, I keep a lot of stuff in my freezer. Um, so I, I'm no wiser as to when I'm going to get my scooter, but we'll see. Um, news about the Cloud 9, which is the shop that's going to be open. The shop's not open until the end of May. So I can't tell you where, why, address or anything. But we're having a pre-launch. Um, I'll tell you about that nearer the time. It's on the 17th of May. Uh, it's a pre-launch in... Oh, I forgot where it is. Hebden Bridge, I think. But it'll just be in a different place than where the shop's going to be. So I'm hoping to be able to get up to there. Um, my friend, my enabler friend Sue, doesn't know if she's got the day off um, from work yet because she hasn't got her rotors. Maybe my friend Rachel will be able to take me, I don't know. Maybe my niece will be able to take me, I don't know. Either way, I'm just hoping that one or the other of them will come through with a lift for me. I mean, I don't mind contributing to the petrol. It's just, I need a lift. <laughs> yeah, especially if I don't have a scooter, I'm just not going to get there at all, am I? And even if I get the scooter, I don't know whether I'll get the pass. I've got to get um, it certified to get a pass to enable me to get onto the public transport with it. Uh, it won't fit on a bus, there's absolutely no way it will fit on a bus. But it may fit on um, the tram, the metro link, or it may fit on the train. I don't know which way, how you get to uh, make up, I've no idea. Not be, I mean, I've got a car actually on the driveway, but it's not mine, it's not insured. It belongs to my daughter-in-law, so I won't be using that. Uh, I'm one of these people who does everything by the book and it's not insured. Um, I won't even think about taking it out on the road um, because it's just, you know, a danger. If I had an accident, then it would just be a nightmare. So, no, I won't. Even though I've got transport on the drive, I won't be using it. Um, so, that's all I've got to say for the moment. So I'm still busy, busy crochet, going crazy with everything. So, uh, hopefully I'll speak to you very soon. So, bye for now.